our Father and our God. We're so grateful to behold another day. We're grateful, oh God, that you awakened us this morning. Closing our right mind, we're grateful, Lord. Because we know of those who didn't give up this morning. For some reason or another, but Lord, you blessed us. To be present in this place one more time. We honor you for all your blessings. And the glory belongs to you. And we ask now, God, that you warm up our hearts. Unstop our ears that we may hear what thus says you. We pray this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. We greet you in the precious name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus the Christ. One who suffered, bled on Yonah's cross. He paid the ultimate price for each and every one of us. For I heard him say that I come that you might have life. Have it more abundantly. And you know, my brothers and sisters, I thank God for life. Amen. Amen. On this second Sunday in this month of October, I have been pondering, and as I do so many times, seeking what shall I say to this congregation? All right. And I do it prayerfully. Because personally, I don't know what everybody needs. But I can ask God to give me something that may be refreshing, something that may be inspiring, something that might edify the kingdom here on earth. And after pondering during the course of this week, uh, I came up with Samuel. Well, in the first Samuel chapter 3. To tell you in advance what I came up with in that third chapter of 1 Samuel well, is the topic that I want to share with you all. I call it Samuel You Have a call. Samuel, you have a call. And the underline is to say that call is on line number one. I know many of you have possibly told someone that you got a telephone call. And if you was in certain office, you would say it's on line one. Well, you know, back in the day of uh, Samuel, there were not telephones. All right. But men did get a call. Well, well. And many of those who got a call, it was on line number one. So let me, for the sake of me and you, let me read 
in this third chapter of First Samuel, you see verse 4, it says that the Lord called Samuel. You see that? You see in verse 6, and the Lord called yet Samuel again. In verse number 8, and the Lord called Samuel again the third time. And you look at verse 10, it says, And the Lord came, and he stood, and called Samuel as he did three times before. I gather from these calls that Samuel received the call, but he didn't know who it was that was called. Sometimes I hear when I call some people and others answer the phone, sometimes in a small voice they'll say, Y'all know what I'm talking about. All right, now. All right. Who, who is it? Come on. And, 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 and you know, most times when you say who is it, the person just don't want to tell you who, who it is. Because they know that you're listening. <laughs> but to deal with this call today from this young man, Samuel, tell you in advance that he was not familiar with the voice on the land. And all day long, many of us get unfamiliar call. Sometimes it angers us. Uh, you, 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 you close your phone, you slam it down, you say, don't call him. All right, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, yeah. Don't, don't call him no more. Come on in, DJ. I, I want you to make a grand issue. <laughs> I got to tell you, that, that, that's my grand. <laughs> and, and everybody watch him come in. Look at this young man. <laughs> That, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, man. <laughs> Samuel, you have a call. Uh, Let me deal with Samuel for a moment by way of introduction. All right. Judges, 
people see you, uh, that there's something about you that made them inquire about who is your mom.
I go back and keep doing what I'm doing. That's why I hear something there. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody calling me. Uh, and ain't nothing wrong with me. Uh, <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with saying He hearing the call. Maybe that's why you're not getting where you need to go. You don't got the call, but you're not comprehending it. You're not even moving. His line for me. Right. You know, man, line. Yeah. I don't care who called. He knew he was sitting there watching the ball game. Right. He ain't gonna pick it up. <laughs> they ain't calling me. He ain't one of his brother called me. Right. Man, you don't have your call. I don't know who it is. You need to get your call to ID, man. I feel like he He got somebody. And then when he said who it is, then he'll answer. This is what will happen here with Samuel and Eli and God. Call him. Look at verse number six. And the Lord called him yet again, Samuel. And Samuel rolled and went to Eli and said, Here am I, for thou callest me. And he answered, I call him not, my son. Lie down again. Verse 7. Now Samuel did not yet. This is what I want you to see. Samuel did not know the Lord. He didn't know who it was. That was called. So now Samuel did not yet know the Lord. Neither was the word of the Lord yet revealed unto him. And then to you. He's speaking to you. All right. 
He's speaking to you. All right. All right. All right. The question is, yeah. are you listening? Yeah. Yeah. Many times you hear my message as I go to my conclusion. I use this statement many times to say you don't hear me. I use it perfectly because I want to be heard. Eli told Samuel, tell the Lord the next time when he called, speak. For I am his servant. You see, I'm hearing. Hear what Samuel did. I don't need this. Somebody said, obey the Lord. Obey the Lord. So Samuel went and laid down in his place. And the Lord, you see what the Lord did?